Well, we got a fire situation going on in town or something. I got the sun, it's so freaking orange. But uh, yeah, there's freaking smoke all over the place. It's kind of hard to breathe. But yeah, that, that's really freaking cool. It's just like orange. Yeah. Well, I went back to Canadian Tire and picked me up another one. They didn't have uh, the regular one, so I got the maximum, which turns out better because I get three more pieces and they're silver, so I can't mix them up. Friggin' right. I hit up the hobby shop and I got them an air filter assembly. I got them two new uh, diff housings, so that's not too bad and you get two of them. Uh, these are the only pieces I needed. I didn't need any of the other stuff, so I could get away with just buying one. Uh, this was in the box before. It's just the um, the centrifugal clutch. Um, this was in the box before as well. It's the break for it. And then I picked up two four pinion gear sets. Yikes. <laughs> and then uh, we got the screw set for the servos and stuff. So I'm going to get this thing slapped together, hopefully tonight. Alrighty, well I'm going to start off with the uh, air filter assembly here. You're going to have a donut and then you'll have a solid piece. So start off with the donut, just feed that guy in there and then the solid one goes on top. Just like that. And that guy will get stabbed onto that guy. one of these supplied zap straps to just freaking zap that guy on there. It's kind of difficult to do with one hand. There. So we'll give that guy a bit of a snip and then uh, that's good to go. Sweet. Alrighty guys. Well, sorry about the weird light. What I've actually done is uh, taped my flashlight right uh, right to the side of the tripod so at least you guys will be able to see when I uh, do something up close you'll be able to see it so that is my temporary friggin illumination problem solved thing okay so let's get one of these dips put together um, I've already pre-assembled one just so that I know what I'm doing um, Okay, so first thing, we're going to start off with an empty diff like this. Uh, wow, I really like that light. <laughs> it works pretty good. Okay, you'll notice there's a little groove, uh, a ring right down in the middle there. That is for this O-ring. Okay, now I'll go and stick this guy. This is the, um, not sure what side it is, but it's one of the drive gears. Or drive flanges. Okay, so when you stick this guy in, it's going to want to push that O-ring up, so if you just kind of... No, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, well I guess stick that guy in first and then put the O-ring in. And you can use a pick or whatever you've got to uh, carefully push it down and seat it in the bottom there. Next thing we're going to want to do is... Take this little guy here, and that goes in the hole of that, I'm not sure, right there. So what you want to do is line up the hole with these two. Actually, no. That's what that's for. Frick. So I fought with the other one for no reason. Oh, before we do that, we want to get the bearing put on there. That was almost a mistake. bearing on oh it's dirty okay I guess line up this hole with the hole in the uh, the diff housing push that all the way up of course we're gonna have to reseat the washer okay <laughs> totally 
Didn't even think of that. Alright, so now I guess we'll just take this and feed it very carefully. Okay, I don't know if I could show you guys this, but should just be able to push it in like that. That is freaking brilliant. Okay, thumbs up to whoever freaking put that hole in the side there. I had no idea what it was for and I fought for like 10 minutes trying to get the other one in. <laughs> but I'm learning as you go, so um, that's what it's all about, it's just learning how to do stuff. You know, I'll take our uh, grease. This is not, well it's marine as well, sorry about the glare, um, but it's just some basic uh, white lithium grease. I used it in my Raminator build and it worked fine, so I don't have a problem using this. I know Medic is, he swears by uh, marine grease, like pure, uh, the blue stuff, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. Okay, so I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, each one of these will have a channel in it. And my TV just turned off, so I was using that for light as well. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Okay, so we gotta line that uh, groove up with that pin that we just inserted. Uh, just drop that guy down there, and you'll know when you get it lined up because it will uh, try to get a small finger or something in there. Because it'll drop down into place, and the uh, the top of that part will be sitting flush with the top of the gear. So you'll see now that she's sitting flush. That's exactly what you want. Now time to assemble these spider gears. Take one of our uh, center pins. I can't, uh, I guess it's just a spider gear pin. But um, I opted for the upgrade. Um, it'll give you four pinion instead of two. Uh, just because it's, it's a, quite a bit stronger. You got more gears to mesh. It's just overall better. And that one's got a little ridge on it too. Let's see if we can take it down a bit. Let's see if that one fits a bit better. Probably should have test fit all this stuff beforehand but uh, I didn't even think of that, so I'm sure I'll get better at doing these the more I do them. I just gotta keep doing them. So okay, those guys assembled will look like that. Now I'm going to add a bit of grease inside here before I put that in. Don't need a ton of it. A little bit goes a long way. I just put a decent sized dollop. I'll make sure that still spins freely. It's not bad. Right now, these guys, so I'll just, they just drop in like that and then they'll spread out on their own as you push them down. And once it's seated, you should be able to Spin it, get them all greased up. That'll look like that when you're done. Okay, now if you're reusing this part like I am, you're gonna be sure to scrape um, this piece out. The first time I, uh, I put together the first diff, I didn't know that was friggin' there, so I stuck this one on top of it and torqued it down and it was binding and stuff, so... Uh, it needs to be set up quite uh, specifically, so make sure you remove the old piece of crap gasket. So that guy will just go down on there and line up with those holes. And we can set that off to the side, we'll use that in a little bit. Um, now we'll apply a little bit of grease to the bottom of this, slap it onto there. And all these lights is making this room really, really warm. Ah, that guy will drop right onto there. Line it up with the that pin. 
Okay. And now we just basically line up the holes. That's going to want to shift on me. Cool. Just like that. Now the holes in this are not tapped, so you're going to have to uh, just try to get one of them started. I've got my cordless drill here that I'll use. So you want to be fairly careful. More careful than I'm being. <laughs> And what I'll do after is I'll take the bit out of the drill and I'll hand tighten those. I've got a big mosquito here attacking my light. <laughs> Fred. It's that, it's that buzzing sound you guys hear mosquito. <laughs> okay, so I got my manual screwdriver and I'll just give those guys a little torque down. You want to make them snug, you don't want to over tighten them because then you risk dripping out that channel and if you do that then you gotta buy a new one. Might be able to get away with running a bigger screw though but uh, it's just best not to take that chance. Okay, so when that's done, you should have a nice gear mesh. That's working good. Cool. So that's all there is to setting up one of these things. So I'll get the rest of the truck uh, put back together. Off camera, I went ahead and uh, let's find the zoom out. Put together the front end, I'll just turn back. No, that doesn't help. <laughs> yeah, I put together the front end, so I got the diff in there, it's all rebuilt, done properly. And yeah, so it's coming together. Oh, that's a really freaking hot light. Hot as in it creates like a hot spot on whatever it's aiming at. So yeah, I need to get an overhead light or something. Anyways, um, we'll just get to it.